Good evening, I'm Clayton Baumgarth. Heavy construction is underway on I-465, much of which will take place this summer. NDOT says the project will add capacity to the interstate. We'll have hundreds of crews out um, 24 hours a day, seven days a week completing this work um, so we can you know, get, get in there, get done what we need to get done and get out. All I-465 eastbound lanes between I-65 and I-70 will be closed to traffic from June 2nd to the 21st. All westbound lanes will be closed July 7th to the 29th. Bloomington Mayor John Hamilton says he's not reading too much into recent layoffs at Catalan and Cook as economies change around the country. There's always churn. Um, you know, overall, we've seen a lot of uh, job growth in the area with Catalan, with Cook, um, uh, other employers, new employers. Cook Medical announced 500 layoffs globally, 75 in Bloomington on Monday as the company refocuses efforts on product innovation. Catalan laid off 400 workers last November and Baxter sold its biopharma solutions business earlier this month. And finally tonight, some farmers are considering replanting their crops because of recent heavy rains. Experts say it's important to take time to assess those crops before deciding to replant. You wouldn't expect to see too many entire fields be drowned out just from the rains that we've been receiving. So evaluation of plant stands is going to be important, making sure that uh, there is enough damage to consider replanting. Schmidt says it's fairly common for farmers to have to evaluate at least a portion of their acres every year and that there's no need to panic just yet. For a quick look at weather tonight, it's going to be low 44, clear skies. The rest of the week will be on the screen for you to look at. And for more local news, go to WTANews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6.